What's happening everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today we have a review to do for you guys. This is concerning the CJRB Scoria, which is what you see here. We will jump right into that after we go over what I carried in the pocket today. We have the brand new Civivi Sokoke. This is going to be an awesome budget-ended EDC knife. Uh, I haven't had it very long, but it has all the characteristics of being a great, comfortable EDC knife. That full-length backspacer really aids in comfort. You have a decent pocket clip. As far as the comfort is concerned, the pocket clip does work well multiple deployment methods the action is very good it's gonna be a great little budget edc knife the other one i had in my pocket which i haven't been able to really get out of my pocket uh is a brand new am8 prayer also migron am8 same company uh this is one of their new offerings s90v titanium all the way around uh very well done ceramic detent ball ceramic bearings uh very well done very very well done guys this this has taken over for the tuya nv4 as best value so far of the year uh this is exceptionally well done uh the only things i've found wrong with it are so minimal or nitpicky that uh, it's not really justified at the price point. Uh, the T6 on the body screws, I wish they were T8. And uh, the pocket clip is a little tight. But uh, other than those two things, this is a splendid EDC knife. Uh, gentleman style knife for sure. Very well done. As long as you don't plan on using it as a tactical knife, uh, which you wouldn't do that anyway uh very very good so if you like content like this guys you like overviews you like reviews you like unboxings gear reviews and overviews and all of that sort of thing you are in the right spot make sure you are subscribed if you see the subscribe button under the video that means you are not subscribed hit that subscribe button ring the bell Come join the G-Ball Vision. I'd love to have you here. And you would be welcomed with open arms. All is welcome here. As long as you are a respectful human being. Doesn't matter if you don't know anything. And it doesn't matter if you know a ton of things. Uh, you are welcomed here. And I am glad to welcome any new people to the channel. Uh, I am very grateful for all of you, and you guys are the reason I keep doing the content. Uh, I love doing it, and I love that other people like watching as well. And do me another favor before you head out. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out. It helps the video out. helps the channel out. Uh, and it's free, and it's easy. So just hit the thumbs up. And I greatly appreciate it, guys. So we'll jump right into this guy. This is the CJRB Scoria. Now, this is in an odd spot for its price. Uh, now, you're getting a great value. I, I, In my opinion, I think this knife gets overlooked. And I don't know quite why. I think it gets overlooked in the sense of an EDC knife in the budget category. I don't know if it's because it's CJRB, which it shouldn't be because they have really made a name for themselves over the last year or two uh, as far as their quality and their materials. And they're just, they're doing a very good job at Artisan and CJRB. Uh, they also created AR RPM 9 steel, which is only Artisan and CJRB use this steel. It's proprietary to them. Uh, and 
it is a hell of a steal, guys. I have probably have or have had a dozen knives in it, and they all have done phenomenal. Very well done. They the edges hold up well. The toughness seems to be there. Uh, I just think it's a very well done steal for the price point. I don't know how it compares to like 14C28N or how it compares. So like I was saying, I do not know how it compares to 14C28N, 154, Nitro V, steals like that. I'm guessing it's somewhere right in the middle or maybe just underneath of those steals. Uh, now, I haven't really been able to tell much of a difference between this steel and 14C28N. I'd really like to know how they compare. I'm guessing 14C is a little bit better, but uh, that I don't know. And if it is, I don't know in what ways. But uh, I would be interested to know uh, that and maybe that's something I will do some investigating on. But the ARPM9 just holds up so, so well. Uh, I actually have another CJRB that's going to be coming in for a short term review also. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. But uh, that is also in the ARPM9. And it's just an awesome steal, especially at the price point. Um, we'll go over some details and specs. Uh, this is a drop point blade. You do have that beautiful swedge that goes pretty much the whole length to the tip of the blade. The edge is very, very well done. Uh, it came very well done. Now I have used this quite a bit. Uh, as an EDC, as a work knife. Uh, this was one of my first budget-ended knives that I really fell in love with. Uh, because of them dull thumb studs, they are done so, so well. They're so comfortable to actuate. Uh, some, of the, some of the best thumb studs that I have felt in a long time. They just... I don't know what it is. They did them so, so good, though. I don't know if it's that big ball on the top there or what, because they do the step design, which I really like. But there's just something about them that makes them very, very comfortable. Uh, and then you have that awesome flipper tab. You can light switch it, push button it. Uh, so you got multiple ways to deploy this. You can reverse flick it. Uh, you do have all satin hardware and it looks, or no, just the pivot and the thumb studs are satin. They blacked out the hardware on the body and then they went with a titanium clip, I believe. Yes. So they put a titanium clip on this bad boy. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. And it looks so, so good. You have that nice milled titanium clip. It just goes beautiful with them thumb studs. And I want to say those might even be titanium as well. Yeah, I think those are titanium as well, guys. Because there's the blade. Yeah, the thumb studs and the pocket clip are both titanium and they go very well together. I don't know, that pivot collar might even be titanium as well. Uh, maybe I'll do a disassembly of this guy and uh, in a later date and we'll check that as well. But you're getting titanium thumb studs, pocket clip, well, well finished G10 scales. And you're getting their proprietary ARPM9 steel. Uh, I just absolutely love this knife. And I did just recently check. 
you can get this version right now, 70 bucks, okay, with a 20% off coupon on Amazon. I will try to remember to link it down below, but that's got to put, that puts this, what, around like 60 bucks maybe, or 58 bucks or something around there, and guys, that is a freaking hell of a deal. Uh, if this thing had a backspacer, I would be head over heels for this. I mean, I still am. Uh, they give you a nice amount of access with a chamfer on that liner. Uh, the G10 is very, very well finished. You can see it has that really cool patterning in it. Uh, very smooth, very soft. Uh, it's not too slick and it's not too rough. You get a nice amount of grip on it. You can kind of hear it maybe. But uh, all in all, guys, I love this knife. And then I believe they do have a micarta version, which comes in 10 bucks more. Uh, I don't know if that I think it did it did come with a 20% coupon so if you want uh, red micarta with the black blade you can pay like 10 bucks more you're still going to get that 20% off I will remember to link it below and you guys can go check it out but if you are in the market for like a gentlemanly a budget gentlemanly EDC knife uh, I've used this at work. I'm a carpenter and this thing has done me so so well. The pocket clip, you do not even feel it and that is just something I love. Uh, the only thing that I really dislike, and it's not even that I dislike it, I shouldn't say it like that. The only thing I wish that was changed or added was that backspacer ordeal. If they would have forgot about the standoffs and gave us like a, a little halfway backspacer here oh would this be and and I see why they maybe didn't it just looks cleaner without it maybe but I think they could have found a way to slide a nice black g10 or even went with like a stone washed you know either one uh, irregardless at the price point, it's hard to pass up all the things that this does uh, and can be. Why don't we go ahead and get a weight on it here. Got my sticker there from... Uh, why is that doing that? There we go. Sticker from my new pouch. Trying to figure out what to do with it. That's a, a different video for a different day. So 3.6 coming in for the weight. You got three inches of cutting edge, just a hair over actually, like three and a sixteenth. And then to that little tip there, it's right at three and a half. And then coming down to the very tip here, you're at like seven and 15 sixteenths, almost eight full inches. Why don't we go ahead and do just a couple comparisons here that is the o knife freeze 2 this is one of their newer offerings very similar in size here is the kaiser escort very very similar in size there why don't we do here is the Mad Tanto. And that new AM8. Very, very similar in size there. You can see it's got a little more blade length here on the AM8. 
The Mad Tanto is very, very close in its size. How about we do two more? Here is the Black Mirror by Max Ace. Another knife that I just absolutely love. And why don't we do a small one? There is the Naps Lander. So, quite a bit bigger than the Lander. Very similar to the Black Mirror. I was wondering, do you guys prefer me to have a set of knives that I always use for comparisons? I thought that maybe kind of played out because there's certain guys who just use the same knives over and over and over again, and I get why they do that. Uh, but I was thinking for me in particular, uh, using different knives each time, you know, uh, you might see one that has been in it before, but just kind of to keep things fresh and different. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you guys think uh, about that. But I have often wondered that, and uh, you'll have to let me know down in the comments, or if you're someone I talk to on a daily basis, you'll have to let me know what you think. But uh, I thought changing it up each time I do a comparison like that, you know, it just keeps things fresh. It's not the same old, here's a Spider Co. Para 3, Paramilitary 2, Benchmade Bug Out, you know, uh, which I can do that. I can do that if that's what people prefer. Uh, I just thought it would be different and cool to kind of switch it up. Uh, why don't we... We'll do a little cutting. I don't know how this is going to, to do. That edge is still just very, very well done. And I'm telling you guys, when I say that it came to me out of the box very well done, it came very well done. It was sharper than hell. Uh, I loved, loved carrying this knife. I still do. I just don't carry it as much just because of the amount of knives that I have and that I got to carry and you know it, it just it's been carried a ton and used a ton it just hasn't been as of lately uh but i i just love this thing you do have this like it's not a full finger choil i guess if you had skinnier hands you could but like somebody's hands like mine or bigger you're going to be right on the corner of that edge. But what that allows me to do, which I would prefer to do, is this right here. I can get my middle finger right there and my pointer finger there. And that just, that is the money right there, guys. That's the money grip uh, for many, many, many cuts, different kinds of cuts. You can do a lot of precise direct cuts in this pointer index cut, uh, grip here and it's you have a good grip on it you can direct where that tip is going you got side to side control with your thumb and your middle finger just a very good grip if you have not ever used that grip or don't use it much you should uh, start checking it out because it just works very very well uh, but that is going to be a short-term review on this, guys. Uh, I'm going to... Now, I could have done a long-term review, but I want to kind of put this back in a rotation, and I will be doing a long-term review of this guy and probably a disassembly of this guy. 
uh, you're going to see a lot of disassemblies coming up the pipe. So hopefully you like those. And if you don't, well, there's going to be tons of other videos being posted as well. So if you hung out through the whole video, thank you. I love you guys. Uh, give the video a thumbs up before you head out, please. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there. Alright guys, thank you and have a good night.